A clean sheet, uh, another win, you're in the top six. That must be uh, among your most satisfying afternoons as Norwich manager so far. Yeah, I think um, I think obviously Cardiff first half here, Charlton sort of first half away there as well was excellent. But I think over the sort of course of the full 90 minutes, um, certainly really pleasing against a good calibre of opposition as well. Um, and a team that's, I think they've only lost one in ten since before they came here. So really pleasing performance. I thought we were dominant throughout the full 90 minutes. Um, comfortable at the back and I thought a sort of balance between attacking and defending was, was very good. I think given Wolves' league position and the form they're in, that the best thing you can say about that Norwich performance is it was a, a more comfortable win than, than anyone would have been expecting. Um, well, we expected it. We certainly expected to be the better team and play well. Um, that's what we got. But I think the most pleasing thing for me was how hard the players worked. You know, I thought you seen the hunger and desire, which I did question a few weeks ago. Absolutely no questions about that today. I thought they gave us absolutely everything and that's all you can ask for your team. You talked about the conceding sloppy goals, but you've now cons- cons- well, kept three clean sheets in four, which that must give you a lot of pride. Yeah, but that's the way my teams play is they'll be structured, they'll know what their tasks are, and if they do them properly, for how good the players that I've got, we should hopefully try and keep many more clean sheets, um, but also have that sort of attacking threat going forward. Um, and I thought the balance today was excellent, and I thought the players, are, like I say, I'm really, really proud of them. I thought they were fantastic. How much difference has Sebastian Bassong made to it, being able to bring someone with his experience into the team? Yeah, I don't think it's just Seb, though. I think if you look at the back four, I've sort of tried to get the spine of my team right. Um, and we've managed to name them pretty consecutively over the sort of last three or four matches. And I think as a, as a four, they're working a lot better together. Um, and that will only improve the more they play together. So I was really pleased with everyone. You're in the top six now. That's what the, the fans have been desperate for for a while. How significant do, do you feel that is? Um, it's not significant at all, unless we're in there come the end of the season or even higher. So at the moment, what we've done is we've gave ourselves a good platform. Um, I think that's sort of won five and seven now, which is good form. Um, but the most pleasing thing for me is performances have gradually improved as well. Um, and certainly based on today, if we can perform like that, then there should be no reason why we can't continue to win more games. The fact that it's taken you, you know, to win five out of seven games just to get sixth place, does that give you an idea of, of how difficult it's going to be to push on from here? Yeah, it's a difficult task. You know, The, the thing is, when I came in, we were sort of chasing our tail a wee bit. We were outside the playoffs. Um, so you're also you're trying to play catch-up all the time. But at the end of the day, that was a job that I knew I was taking on. Um, and I was confident we could get the team playing in a fashion where we were capable of winning games and pushing ourselves higher up the league. Fortunately for us, we've managed to do that just now, but there's a long, long way to go, um, and we need to make sure we continue to put good performances like that on.